वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर वीडियोस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 12.4 इट इज फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स हिबलिस इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट अ पार्टिकल ट्रैवल्स अलोंग अ स्ट्रेट लाइन विद अ कांस्टेंट एक्सेलरेशन राइट सो द एक्सेलरेशन इज कांस्टेंट राइट सो वी हैव टू राइट दैट एक्सेलरेशन इज कांस्टेंट राइट एंड इट इज सेड दैट व्हेन s इज इक्वल टू 4 feet when s is 4 feet then velocity is 3 feet per second let's say that this is s not and let's say that this is initial velocity and further it is said that when s is equal to 10 feet then the velocity is 8 feet per second and it is asked that determine the velocity as a function of position right so we have to find the velocity equation v of s velocity function right so we have to find that function so first of all we know this equation this is v dv equals to a ds if you people do not know this equation so i will derive it for you so as we know that velocity is equal to ds by dt so dt equals to ds by v and similarly the acceleration we know that acceleration is dv by dt so from this dt will be equal to dv by a right so now these both of these are dt right so we can equate this so i can write that this is ds by v right so this thing and this thing are equal so now we can write we can cross multiply so v dv equals to a ds right so this is this is the equation which relates velocity acceleration and position right so now we know we have this equation v dv equals to ads so now if we integrate this right and if we integrate this from initial velocity to final velocity and initial position to final position right so we will get an equation which will relate velocity acceleration and and the position right so if we integrate this so then this will be v square divided by 2 and this will be from v not to v and this will be and the acceleration is constant right so i will write ac ac ds and this is from s not to s right so now if we apply these conditions these initial conditions so then this will be i will take 1 by 2 common right so then this will be v square minus v not square and if we integrate this so then this will be only s right so this will be ac and if we apply this condition so then this will be s minus s not right and if we multiply it and multiply 2 on both sides so then this will be cancelled out and we will have this and we can write it like this so v square equals to v not square plus 2 ac s minus s not right so now we want to find a function of velocity function right and a function of position right so we want to have a velocity equation in terms of s right so as we can see that this is the equation of a velocity this is the equation of velocity in which we know v not and which we know both of these right and at the end we want to have a velocity equations in term of this s only right so first for to have that equation first we need to find this ac that constant acceleration right so we know this v not we know this uh we know this s not we know this s so we can find this ac since in this equation we have only this ac as an unknown right so we can find this ac so this will be if we want to find this ac so then this will be v square minus v not square and this will be 2 ac s minus s not and if we divide both side by 2 into s minus s not so then this will be cancelled out so then ac will be equal to this thing right so now we can find ac so ac that constant acceleration will be equal to so v so we we know this v v is 
So this is 8 square minus V naught and V naught is 3 feet, right? So this will be 3 square and 2 and the final position is 10, right? So we will write 10 minus the initial position. So initial position is 4, right? So this will give us AC. If we solve this, so acceleration comes out to be 4.583 feet per second square. Now we want to have a velocity equation in terms of s, right? So now in this equation, this equation is v square equal to v naught square plus 2ac s minus s naught. So in this equation, we will put all the knowns and we will only leave this s as a variable, right? So now we know v naught. This is v naught square. V naught is 3. Right? So, this is again that V naught. So, this is 3 square plus 2 and that acceleration which is 4.583 and S. So, we want to have the velocity function in terms of S, right? So, we will not put the value of S, right? So, this is S minus S naught. So, S naught is 4 feet. So, we sim when we simplify this, so then this is 9. 9 plus and this is 9.166 so we can write 9.171 right and this will be s minus 4 right so we can simplify this further so this will be 9 plus 9.17 s and this will be minus and this multiply by 4 right so this is 36.664 So this is 9.17s and this is minus 27.7, right? And this is v square, right? So we want to have velocity function in terms of s. So this will be v of s and we will take these under the root 2, right? So this will be 9.17s minus 27.7 under the root 2, right? So this is that required velocity function in terms of position. So this is the solution of this problem.